What is up, everybody? Me and Chip are up here bright and early at 7 o'clock. Not too bright and early. We used to work out at 6, so we're good. So we are ready to crush this workout in the face. Uh, it's got some burpees in it, but it's only four at a time, and we're jumping different ways, so it could keep it spicy instead of just continual burpees forever, okay? So first thing we're going to do, we're going to do our warm-up. And it was coach's choice. So you see, I did my countdown as I like to on my warm up. So, first thing we're going to do, we're going to do 10 air squats, then eight bainted presses. I'm doing bainted presses because we're going to do cleans and jerks um, along with um, thrusters today. So, I wanted to get some of those motions in. Um, six cleans. So, do your cleans up there. If you've got a lighter weight, start with a lighter weight before the weight that you got. If you don't have one, just make sure you are. Keeping your core tight so you don't have any back ouchies, okay? After six cleans, and that can be six together, or if you got a heavier weight, three each side, just getting that movement warmed up. Four burpees and two inchworms. Make sure you do your two inchworms really, really slow. You can do inchworm, down dog, walk it back, whatever you want to do. Just make sure you're stretching out the back and warming up the shoulders and all that good stuff there. So we're going to start with 10 air squats. Power on. Bluetooth connected. Thank <laughs> you. 
gonna do a double a double duty move. All right, we're gonna wall sit for a minute, and for 30 seconds, we're gonna do our shoulder stretches. Okay, for the back of our shoulder, so we're gonna put one elbow under the other for 30 seconds, and then you're gonna switch the other elbow under the other one for the next 30 seconds. All right. So find your wall space. We'll go in five seconds. Three, two, one, sit, pick your shoulder, pick your shoulder stretch. All right, switch your arms. Three, two, one, you're done. Alright. So continue to stretch your other ouchies, whatever you need. Yeah, I kind of do runner's lunges whenever I get down here to talk to y'all. We got an EMOM 20. Okay, so we've got a center clock for our EMOM 20. And what we're going to do, we're going to do two different things, okay? So the first time, we're going to do four lateral burpees. That means we're going to jump over something, okay? So I've got my kettlebell here, which is a little bit taller than dumbbells. But I didn't want to use 45s for the thrusters and the cleaning jerks today. So I'll jump a little higher to lift a little less, okay? So what we're going to do we got four lateral burpees and you're jumping over. As soon as you finish jumping over your dumbbell for your fourth one, you're picking it up and you're doing four, four clean and jerks. All right, let's see, every minute for 20 minutes. Set. So you're doing your lateral burpee. If this is your fourth one, okay, remember always check your overhead. So you're going to go here, clean it, jerk it, okay? So this is kind of a clean and press. If you had a really heavy weight, jerk is when you split your feet front and back and then stand up. But I don't think anybody's doing a heavy enough weight to have to split your feet too crazy, okay? But if you got a 70 pound dumbbell because you're feeling yourself today, you might need to do that. Alright, so you go clean, use your knees, jerk it up, so you're doing two each side on that one, okay? If you're using a kettlebell, make sure you turn your watches and Apple watches and Fitbits around um, so you don't crack the screen when your kettlebell comes around to your wrist. Alright, so that's the first minute, so you got eight things to do. The second minute... We're doing dumbbell facing burpees. All right. So the dumbbell is in front of you or your kettlebell is in front of you. So you're getting as close as you can to the kettlebell. We're here. You're going to want to get your feet as close to your hands as possible. So then you can just jump over your kettlebell. Okay. Then you're on the other side of the kettlebell and you do the same thing. So you go down to a burpee. Feet really close. Jump over. That's your barbell face. That's your dumbbell face and burpee. Okay. So you got two of those, and after two of those, you're going to do a thruster. Let me use this other arm, or my right arm is going to be tired from warm up. So you're going to go here, dip down, press all the way up, dip down, press all the way up. If you only got one weight, you're doing two each side. Okay. So here's a challenge. Get these things done quickly so that you got a break, okay? 
All right. Don't add them up. You don't want to know how many you're doing. We'll talk about how many we did at the end. You just don't want to know right now. So we can do it. It's only eight things a minute. Okay. But it's eight full body movements a minute. You, you don't want to rest. You don't want to rest in between your burpee and your thing, or you're just going to talk yourself out and not picking it up and you're going to have less rest. So group your rest together after you've done all eight things. Your respiratory system is going to be able to recover, get some more oxygen to you before you start again, okay? So don't camp out between the burpees and either your clean and jerks and your thrusters. After you finish the last burpee, snatch that weight up, do whatever you need to do with it, okay? So after we do that, we're going to run our mouth for a break, okay? And while you are breathing... I'm going to tell you what these things are. And these things are going to be for form, not for speed. So, yes, it's an AMRAP 10, but you're not going to try to blaze through them and hurt yourself because these are kind of going to be your accessories that you really want to keep everything tight and good form on these. All right. My timer is being grumpy. And it's got to be secure because when you start doing burpees in the house, things start shaking. All right. I'm going to go to this side. All right. All right, you have your water handy. If you don't hit pause, go get water. You'll have time to drink in between. All right, pump up the jams. We're starting with lateral burpees and cleaning jerks. We are going in 10 seconds.
but we're halfway. Feels like we should be done, but we're not. Let's go. Yes, I'm still listening. Yes. Woo! All right, all right. We are taking tough. Going in five, three, two, one. Don't you give up, we're killing it. All right. We're jumping over. Three, two, one.
so much right now. Look how it is. Five. Ready, set, go. Two. Oh, tripping.
I'm, I'm breathing so heavy. What is this? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, like the first four, I'm like, oh, this will be fine. Nope. Yeah. <laughs> we got to 10 minutes, and I'm like, we're almost done. I'm like, we only done 10 of the 20. <laughs> oh, so extra. All right. And if you're sitting here, chilling, you got some aches, stretch them out. I'm gonna try to stretch my lower back a little bit by hugging my knees, rocking a little bit. Cause I can't breathe enough to tell you what we're doing next yet. Hey guys, we only got 10 minutes left. And it's not really cardio. We just did all the cardio for the week. <laughs> the week, huh? The week. Yep, it's Wednesday. You got all your cardio in just today. These are called crossbody Jefferson curls. Okay. All right. So I'm going to do one to the front and I'm going to do one from the side so you can see. All right. I don't know if I'm going to use the 35, but I have 10 to 35. So when I start this, I'm going to use a 10. All right. So your body is straight up. Okay. You're trying to go to your opposite toe with the weight. This is not about going fast, okay? It's about using your con contracting all your muscles. It's about stretching your back and using those slowly. So you don't want to like grind back and forth and hurt yourself. You want these to be nice and slow. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna slowly come down. And you're gonna roll your back up. Now it's not like a deadlift, okay? So watch my back. So you're trying to keep it tight. You're curving your back, keeping it tight. Coming all the way back up. It's 10 on each side. We got an AMRAP 10. If you get through this twice, cool. If you don't get through it twice, that's fine because with all these moves, you're gonna be contracting your muscles. And you're gonna be using them. You just don't have to use them fast. And sometimes when you do like prolonged holds, and slow things, you can burn just as many calories in it. We're doing 80 more burpees. P.S. You just did 80 burpees jumping over an object. All right. So, that's your cross body. Okay. Cross your body. Keep it nice and smooth. Okay. You can do 10 each side. I don't know. Take three seconds or so to get down. Do that one. Next is your single arm deadlift, okay? Single arm deadlifts. If you want to do 10 total, that's fine. You can do five each side, okay? When you go to do your deadlift here, make sure you don't start Quasimodo during your deadlift, okay? Make sure when you start your deadlift that you have it by your foot, okay? 
Your back is flat. Okay. Make sure you're keeping your chest up. And you're doing each side on that. Okay. I was putting it back down. I think I went quasi motor on, on the down. Okay. So that's your single arm deadlift. So you can use whatever that you just used for your burpee party up here. We got a 30 second hollow hold. So make yourself a banana. Do your hollow hold. Okay. Okay. The further you put your hands back, the harder it is. Okay. My legs are kind of heavy, so I kind of go right by my ears. That's about, that's about as hollow hold as I get. Then it's one more thing. Ten plank pull throughs. Okay. So, your plank pull through. All right, your hands, the weight is below your hand. So you're going to grab it, pull it through, put your hand down, pull it through, put your hand down. Okay. So that's what we got. We got 10 minutes. We're not about killing it for speed. We're about holding those contracting muscles and doing a good job on those. All right. I'm all, I got to reset the timer. Got to hit the music. Make sure you got all your equipment. All right, we're starting with those cross bodies. We're going into eight. Three, two, one.
Ja. Thank you. 
seconds left. Great job. Way to stick it out today. Happy hump day.